Nink. Ten past six. And it's hot. Had a horrible journey home. Too hot. Drank some water. That was obviously too hot. Made me sick. <sighs> Everything was horrible. And people were driving like it was Schumacher versus uh, all the others in the old days, or Hamilton and Verstappen this, in the latest lots of driving. Oh, how very rude a lot of them were when I just sat there and listened to a really depressing play. So before it gets any worse, let's come before the Lord and do the stuff. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Yes, I've just had a thought. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my crag, my fortress and my deliverer. In my distress, I called out upon the Lord and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice in his temple and my cry came to his ears. He parted the heavens and came down and thick darkness was under his feet. He rode upon the cherubim and flew. He came flying on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering round about him, dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice with hailstones and coals of fire. For you will save a lowly people and bring down the high looks of the proud. You also shall light my candle. The Lord my God shall make my darkness to be bright. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried in the fire. He is a shield to all who trust in him. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 11 I trust in the Lord for protection. So why do you say to me, fly like a bird to the mountains for safety? The wicked are stringing their bows and fitting their arrows on the bowstrings. They shoot from the shadows at those whose hearts are right. The foundations of law and order have collapsed. What can the righteous do? But the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. He watches everyone closely, examining every person on earth. The Lord examines both the righteous and the wicked. He hates those who love violence. He will rain down blazing coals and burning sulphur on the wicked, punishing them with scorching winds, for the righteous Lord loves justice. The virtuous will see his face. Psalm 12 Help, O Lord, for the godly are fast disappearing. The neighbours, the faithful, sorry, have vanished from the earth. Neighbours lie to each other, speaking with flattering lips and deceitful hearts. May the Lord cut off their flattering lips and silence their boastful tongues. They say we will lie to our heart's content. Our lips are our own. Who can stop us? The Lord replies, I've seen violence done to the helpless and I've heard the groans of the poor. Now I will rise up to rescue them as they have longed for me to do. The Lord's promises are pure like silver refined in a furnace purified seven times over. Therefore, Lord, we know you will protect the oppressed, preserving them forever from this lying generation even though the wicked strut about and evil is praised throughout the land. Psalm 13 O Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever. How long will you look the other way? 
How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat, saying we have defeated him. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Samuel 11 About a month later, King Nahash of Ammon led his army against the Israelite town of Jabesh-Gilead. But all the citizens of Jabesh asked for peace. Make a treaty with us and we will be your servants, they pleaded. All right, Nahash said, but only on one condition. I will gouge out the right eye of every one of you as a disgrace to Israel. Give us seven days to send messengers throughout Israel, replied the elders of Jabesh. If no one comes to save you, we will agree to your terms. When the messengers came to Gibeah of Saul and told the people about their plight, everyone broke into tears. Saul had been ploughing a field with his oxen and when he returned to town he asked, What's the matter? Why is everyone crying? So they told him about the message from Jabesh. Then the Spirit of God came powerfully upon Saul and he became very angry. He took two oxen and cut them into pieces and sent the messengers to carry them throughout Israel with this message. This is what will happen to the oxen of anyone who refuses to follow Saul and Samuel into battle. And the Lord made the people afraid of Saul's anger, and all of them came out together as one. When Saul mobilised them at Bezek, he found there were 300,000 men from Israel and 30 men from Judah. So Saul sent the messengers back to Jabesh Gilead to say, We will rescue you by noontime tomorrow. There was great joy throughout the town when that message arrived. The men of Jabesh then told their enemies, Tomorrow we will come out to you and you can do to us whatever you wish. But before dawn the next morning Saul arrived, having divided his army into three detachments. He launched a surprise attack against the Ammonites and slaughtered them the whole morning. The remnant of their army was so badly scattered that no two of them were left together. Then the people exclaimed to Samuel, now, where are those men who said, Why should Saul rule over us? Bring them here, and we will kill them. But Saul said, No one will be executed today, for today the Lord has rescued Israel. Then Samuel said to the people, Come, let us all go to Gilgal to renew this kingdom. So they all went to Gilgal, and a solemn ceremony before the Lord they made Saul king. Then they offered peace offerings to the Lord, and Saul and all the Israelites were filled with joy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Luke chapter 22 Then accompanied by the disciples, Jesus left the upstairs room and went as usual to the Mount of Olives. There he told them, Pray that you will not give in to temptation. He walked away about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed. Father, if you were willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then an angel from heaven appeared and strengthened him. He prayed more fervently. He was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. At last he stood up again and returned to the disciples, only to find them asleep, exhausted from grief. Why are you sleeping? he asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you, you hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children for ever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children for ever. So, Lord, the sun continues to shine and as I sit in this study tonight it's 28.7 degrees that's a whole 1.5 less than it was two days three days ago so while I think of putting the heating on father we seriously look at the world and the heat wave for the heat waves that have crossed the globe have brought terrible fires in recent history we Think of the people who live in places where water is scarce and more so in times of drought and the crops fail and all goes wrong. So Father, we pray first of all to say thank you for what you have given us. For we enjoy the sun and the temperate climate. But Father God, as we enjoy what we have, Help us not to lose sight of what others have that's detrimental to them, their health, their nations. And to those fighting fires in so many places at this time across the globe, we pray for the safety of the emergency services in each and every one of the blue light services. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we immediately turn our thoughts to the opposite from heat waves as commuters die, as a train finds itself underwater after record breaking floods filled the tunnel it was in, 12 drowning. Father God, our world is in disarray. Our nations struggle with all that's going on. The bootleg flyer, fire rather, that was burning days ago has burnt through more than 364,000 acres. A fire that started on the 6th of July and Lord the desolation, the awfulness of all that that's caused. Father God, we pray for the world and its needs this night. We pray for the terrible events before us and the stats re released only hours ago show that the US life expectancy has fallen by one and a half years, the biggest fall since World War II ended. Lord, we live in a, a dangerous, sad and trying place. We have internecine struggles, we have uprisings, we have despotic leaders, we have so many awful things. We have many nations caught up and fighting against Covid. We have nations who also have HIV in large numbers. Ebola hasn't gone away. And the governments of every nation need to learn how to care for those of their own nation and beyond and to do diplomacy. And Father, we give you thanks that nine minutes ago a health alert has been posted of a good kind. Having said that the lady isn't for turning, it seems that our government have turned away from the 1% pay rise and gone in recognition of a unique impact and given the NHS staff 3% which is a good move. It's something, Lord, we pray would bring some peace, would at least bring some stability for better dialogues and better understanding. Lord, we pray for all governments this night that they would always seek the path of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father God, we stop and we think for a moment of all the things that are challenging us this night. We pray for our loved ones. We pray for the children as school is about to end and school's out for summer. I think Des O'Connor sang. And Lord, we pray the kids would be safe, that they would be hydrated, they would be slip slapped and slopped all over the shop with suntan cream and hats and all the things they need, proper clothing to stop them getting burnt. And Lord, we pray that proper heart attitudes and care for them in their holiday, that they don't get burnt by the vagaries of sin and the temptations that others will place within them. So Lord, as we stop for this moment, we lift to you the people, the places, the things on our hearts and minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Generous God, you give us gifts and make them grow 
though our faith is small as mustard seed. Make it grow to your glory and the flourishing of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for being with us tonight, guys. Oh, it's a bit sticky, isn't it? But there you go. If it rained, they'd be moaning too. I know I would. Take care. Have a good evening. Catch you later. Bye for now. Thanks. <laughs>